Hi scrapbookers, it's Katie Scott and it's been a little while since I made a video. I had a bad cold last week and so I wanted to just catch up on the comments and just show you what I've been up to lately, which is not a lot, but it is. I, I did, I think, 20 layouts in October, so that's kind of a lot and I know I'm really backlit here. Um, <laughs> okay, let me fix that. I think that's going to be better, even though it's like lower light. Um, yeah, so I wanted to show you my my layouts that I made this month, and let me do that now. So I'll do that first up, and then I'll go through the comments. So some of these layouts are going to be ones that will be in Forget It Scraps, so you get a little sneak peek, and the quality won't be that good, so I think it'll be okay. Okay, the first one is this. I made this last night and I did this during a Get It Scrapped live crop. I It was like one of the Saturday things that they do. So um, I followed a sketch that I think was in Scrapbook Coach and I have not added any journaling to that but this was from the vacation that we took right before we, the kids started school, we went down to the Keys. So, family vacay. Um, and I had a bunch of these like shiny, shiny <laughs> embellishments all already on my thermo web. So I didn't do this on a video, um, but this is, they're calling this the shelf design because see there's that shelf that the pictures are kind of sitting on. I would also argue that this is also could be called a messy block. It isn't, but, and the original one had three photos. Anyways, there's that. And then there's this one, which I think is a copy of a sketch that Carrie Eric did, and in her layout, it was just one big uh, photo, but I didn't have one big photo, so I put in six small photos, and the, her layout was in story play. So I kind of got off the story play wagon when I started doing, um, when I got that kit from Jenny Bolin. That was a lot of fun actually. I was, um, I would like to do another kit. <laughs> so if you have a kit and you would like me to make pages with your kit, I would love to do that. Um, okay, this is the next one. Um, Lizzie Borden is my second cousin in a variety of ways. And so I just wrote out the, or printed out the connection. And I think this was also a story play scrap lift of maybe something that Tammy Taylor did? I think so. Okay, this one I think did appear on the Get It Scrap blog, and the blog post was about other hobbies, nerdy hobbies, besides scrapbooking. Because, you know, scrapbooking is pretty nerdy. So that's about chess. And then this next one, okay, this is a Jenny Bolin um, layout, and I cut all these pumpkins with my silhouette onto that nice, we are memory keepers, paper, and then I did pop dots, I know, right? I never do stuff like that. And then I, I cut out the word pumpkins three times in different sizes, and then I colored those with my Copics. So, that was kind of a fun one. And aren't they adorable? Oh, they're so cute. Oh, they don't look like that anymore. They're so cute. But they were pretty darn cute back then. Okay, next up is another one with the Jenny Bolin kit, except I added this We Are Memory Keepers um, background paper. And this one was to really document all of the different Halloween costumes. So I need to put in what they were each year. So I'll need to look back through my photos to do that. And I haven't put these layouts away yet. And a lot of them I haven't even photographed for like putting up on the blog or anything like that. So I, ha I did kind of fall behind this month doing that. Um, the next one is another one that I did with the Jenny Bowling kit. And this one merged a story about my dad with a story about my kids today. This is like a then and now kind of a photo or a layout. 
I have a really bad cold. <laughs> Can you hear it? Okay, this is also with the Jenny Bowling kit. I think I ended up making like at least 15 layouts with that kit, but I have still enough to do maybe six more. So I need to, I, I might finish those if I'm so inclined. <laughs> I probably will. This is about my grandma Grace and um, that coat that she wore and how she made me feel warm and cozy and that's a blanket that she knit. Next up is, and that's another Jenny Bullen one. This is another Jenny Bullen one. And again, I've added the background paper. So this is a Kaiser Craft paper. And I wanted to pick up on the 80s feel of the kit. And it did have some teal or aqua. And I just felt like that really screamed 80s to me. And then we actually, in September, we um, got together with my boyfriend from my school. <laughs> and we went to the Tom Petty concert. So there's the ticket there. That was fun. Um, next is also a Jenny Bowling kit, and um, I made this paper here with the stencil that came in the kit. Another Jenny Bowling. Um, this was from their October kit, and I really used this little October afternoon happy camper to then find a picture of my Nana camping and then made the page all about her. I love doing pages about my Nana. Ruby, just because um, I recently found a whole bunch of pictures of her that I never really saw before, so it's interesting for me. Okay, here is 1980s cheerleading days, and this is me, and this is my, that's my sister there, and um, yeah, big hair, big 80s, and I made these little pom-poms. They aren't very good, but... It was kind of fun making them. And it was something that we would have done like way back then. I wasn't very good at it back then either. That was also with the Jenny Bowling kit and as is this. And um, this is about my father-in-law who has Alzheimer's and um, yeah, that's a continuing story. Um, but like I use the what's cooking and can it because I often like, hey, what's, what's up? What's going on? That's something I usually say to him. And then since he's had Alzheimer's, he's kind of gotten this grouchiness factor, which I associate with can it. Um, so I used that Jenny Bowling kit with the, the really the, the kitchen themed stuff to tell a story that wasn't about cooking or the kitchen. Okay, here's another one of Miss Ruby. And yeah, this is still with the Jenny Bowling kit. I've added the piece of Jenny Bowling paper. And um, I want to say I used a Pinterest, a layout I found on Pinterest. And I think I made a video about this one. Okay, next one is not up on Get It Scrapped yet, but that's that. It's not a Jenny Bowling one. And I won't tell you the. The, what I was supposed to be doing with this layout, but there it is. And same with the next couple. I won't tell you what the theme is, but I did make these different layouts for the Get It Scrapped vlog. This one and this one. So I think there was about 20 layouts here. That one's not for the Jenny... Excuse me, that one's not for the blog. This one was also with the Jenny Bowling kit, but I added, again, I added just the background piece of paper, and that's an October afternoon paper, which coordinated well with the October afternoon um, product there. And then a friend of mine died, and um, I started this page and didn't finish it. And that's really like the last page that I made, and it was right around when he died, and I kind of... I, I don't know. Anyways, I haven't scrapbooked since I started making this page on the day that he died, which was October 17th, and it's now November 2nd, so that's kind of a long time for me to go without scrapbooking, save the one I'd made last night. So I did this one last night, so I'm still capable of scrapbooking. <laughs> but, uh, okay, I'm going to pause, and then we're going to get to the comments. Okay, ready for comments? Yes. Okay, so I get a, I get a lot of comments from Jock's Girl, so thank you for the comments. And in one of these, she signed her name, and I was like, Sarah Lee. 
So thank you, Sarah Lee. Um, okay, so the first one is from Sarah Lee, and it says, Your videos are long, but not at all boring. <laughs> thank you. Um, you have a unique style that us geeks love and want to hear or see. Uh, the page turned out cute. And so last night when we were on the Get It Scrapped call, um, Lady Doc, who is Karen Poirier Brody, um, she she's on... She's one of the panelists on the Digi Scrap Geek podcast now, and um, the last one they did was an hour and 40 minutes, and I was like, oh, it's so long, and I like slogged through the whole thing, and um, and it took me three days, and so I was giving her a hard time about that, and they were like, Debbie Hodge was like, I think that's like the pot calling the kettle black, and yeah, it is. <laughs> um as I know my videos are long. Um, okay, the next one is, you ask on what is happening with the scrapbooking world. Okay. I d and so I'm not always seeing, when I see the comments, I don't always see like which videos they're associated with. I do, but then I don't remember all the things that I said because I just talk and talk and I don't keep track of what my mouth is doing. Um, okay, you ask on... What is happening with the scrapbooking world? I do think there is a D. Oh, okay. I guess I was asking about like what's happening with scrapbooking. Um, I do think that there is a decline for the stores to carry the products, such as Joann's and Target. I think so too. Or at least like at my Target, it used to be one aisle, both sides of the aisle, and now it's one aisle, one side of the aisle. And a lot of this stuff was on sale, so I don't know. But I also went to Joann's, like, because I got a new sewing machine. I know you can barely see it, but um, I got a new one. It's a nice one. It's a Janome. So I used to have Brothers, and um, the bobbin thing would always break for me after about three or four years. I actually sold them at a yard sale yesterday. I made 100 bucks at a yard sale yesterday. And I sold things cheap, so... Like, I sold two sewing machines, both of them. They need to be fixed. I think they can be fixed. But we just, my husband was like, I'm not doing it again. Um, two, do two sewing machines for eight bucks. <laughs> so we sold a lot of stuff. Um, anyways, we, we sold a lot of old furniture that, like, we kept putting into the storage place at our office. We had this, like, big room at our office that was our storage room. And so anytime we'd have a piece of furniture around the house... And we change the furniture a lot. My husband likes to change the furniture. Um, we would put it into the storage unit. So, like, a lot of furniture went yesterday for dirt cheap. <laughs> I was like, would you like this lovely floor lamp? It's only $4, you know. Yeah, I priced everything to go. Um, what was my point? Oh, so anyways, I went to... So I bought a sewing machine... And I got rid of the old ones. Um, sorry, distracted by my hair. Um, so I went to Joann's and um, I didn't buy much. I think I showed it in one of the videos. I bought some of those little letters that I like so well. Um, but this time they weren't from... Uh, well, they had like one pack of Tim Holtz left. And I, I guess he's put maybe doing away with this. Tim Holtz, if you're listening, I will keep buying these if you keep making them. I love them. Um, but Teresa Collins makes them now, too. So they're the same approximately size. So I, And they were a little bit more than the Tim Holtz ones, but we'll do the job. I like to have those little tiny letters. And I love having, like, a million letters. That, that really works for me. Um... But, um, but I thought the scrapbooking section of the store was still pretty healthy at Joann's. I haven't been to Michael's in a long time, like, probably, like, six months or more, like, a long, long time, and, um, I know my local scrapbook store has <laughs> reduced their, their, um, scrapbooking section again, but it's still probably more than most people have, so... So thankful. Um, so, so Sarah Lee says, I think more of the 40-somethings, 
40 year old somethings are keeping it alive. I think so too. And older too. Um, I hope it continues to be successful because I enjoy it. I buy way too much, but it's my hobby as well as a way to tell my story. I love the story you told here about your grandparents. That was the one where, excuse me, um, my grandparents were taking candid photos, <laughs> very staged photos, but they were called candids, um, in front of the Christmas tree. <laughs> it just looks way awkward. Um, but anyways, uh, da -da -da -da. and how you tied your compression, how you tied your compression to your children to it. What, what that was. Um, it may make a more interesting read for them. I have no idea. <laughs> I have to go back and watch that one. Okay, next up is Tracy Zook says, I've used a few of those October afternoon words on some October afternoon layouts. Cool. Yeah, and you know what? Like, let me just show you the rest of that kit. So I beefed up the kit. So this is still all the Jenny Bolin stuff, right? Like beefed up. But then this is my, what I still have to make. So I have one, <coughs> uh, that's just on white background, but I, trust me, <laughs> it's, I have the Jenny Bolin stuff to go with it. And then I have a Thanksgiving layout that is, practically done. Um, and then another one with the, with the October afternoon words um, that's practically done. And another one that's practically done. Like, I'm serious. I really will kill the kid. Um, and then this one too. I loved this paper. This was, um, I think, Fancy Pants paper. It was very cool. Hold on. So still several layouts that are just about done with that kit. And what was my point? I don't remember. <laughs> Sorry. I forgot what I was trying to say. Um, uh, I don't know. Okay. Oh, the October afternoon stuff. You know, I really like October after newspapers. I do. I like them a lot. Um, next is, Sarah Lee says, Thanks for showing us what comes in a kit. I don't think you can get all of those cute items otherwise. I might treat myself to a few next year. Yeah, last year I was really on the fence about um, joining a kit club and around January. And then I decided I'm not going to join one. And I'm rethinking that. Um, which kit club would I go with? I don't know. Maybe Jenny Bolin. Um, because I really did like the kit. And I really, like, like, I don't feel like most of my pages are really, like, a Jenny Bolin aesthetic. Like, even though I do a lot of heritage scrapbooking, um, I don't know. I feel like she's got a better eye than I do. <laughs> You know, I'm like prone to more tacky <laughs> probably on my pages than she's more like classic and good taste. And, um, but I, I really do. I, I've always loved Jenny Bullen products and I do think they're easy to work with. Um, and I also think they're like unique and different than the rest of what you find. Um, so I think I would really consider the Jenny Bowl and Kit Club. Um, what I would stay away from is probably something that locked me in. You know, if they've got rigid standards about signing up or getting out of your out of the out of the contract. Um, I know my husband hates it when I sign up for something that you have a monthly subscription to. <laughs> I said to tell him, but it's okay because da da da. Um, but I don't know. I'll have to rethink that again this year. I might. I might. I might. I think I liked it. I liked it too because I think that some of the things that came in the kit I never would have chosen. Hold on. I'm going to pause. 
Okay, so some of the things that came in the kit I never would have chosen, but then they were like a lot of fun to use. So those big, big letters from um, Mambi, like me and my big ideas. Um, I never would have bought those ever. Mm -mm. No way. Like I would have thought, oh, they're just for a banner, and I would never use those. And actually, like I really love the pages I made with them. So that's kind of you know. It's like a different way to stretch your creative thing. Um, bang. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay, next. Dun, dun, dun. Katie, I like how you used your creativity to make a page to document your history. Looks like an interesting read for a family member. Thank you. Oh, I think that's the one where um, it, it's called Hathaway. And that's one of my family names. And it's it's a name that, like... I grew up knowing that name, but we didn't know that we were actually related to that family, but we totally are. <laughs> so it's it's cool. Um, next is Crafty Maggie, and she says, I'm usually scrapbooking when I watch your YouTube videos. Good. That's exactly what I want you to be doing. But I also fold laundry and do the dishes while watching too. Cool. Yeah. I've heard um, Debbie Hodge says she puts her iPad like dangerously close to the um, sink and does her dishes, but when I was at the Get It Scrapped crop last night, I was over there folding my laundry, well, so yeah, that's fun. Um, tonight I'm working on some scrapbook layouts. This is a really fun idea for a layout, thanks, um, for Megan, and that was the story play, that was the pie chart, and I did it, um, according to my DNA, my ancestry DNA results, and, um, what ethnicities I am. Okay, next up is Jock's Girl. Um, my house is the same way, Katie. I have a lot of stuff <laughs> and managed to put it all away in closets and cupboards, yeah. So most of my house does not look as messy as this desk. I have clean surfaces, but if you open a drawer or a closet, I'm like packed full of stuff. And usually October is the time of year when I get rid of stuff. So yeah, the yard sale was a good start yesterday. And then... I found some 7th grade girls who, in my son's class, I didn't have to look far, um, but they came over for one of the parties that I've been doing, and I'm going to do a party every month for the middle school. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're going to eliminate social awkwardness. <laughs> or we're going to try. Um, or, yeah, or we're just going to celebrate social awkwardness. Um, anyways, so I've been having these parties, and the girls came into this room, and they saw, oh, look at all the scrapbooking supplies. So I seriously got, like, a 10-pound bag full of supplies and gave it to one of the girls, and she was like, oh, I'm so excited. So I think I'm going to make that a regular thing where I get rid of a lot of that, my old scrapbooking supplies, and give it to, you know, 13-year-olds who will really appreciate it. Because they're super thrilled about it. Um, and, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm trying to make the closets and cupboards and all the hidden places a little less cluttered. But I will say, I brought one thing into my house yesterday. So my aunt was having a yard sale. It was like a community-wide yard sale where she lives. And so I went over and I'm like, I'm doing the opposite of a yard sale. And so I brought some my stuff to put into her yard sale. And, um, but anyway, she had, um, and I, it's downstairs, but she had this sled and I was like, tell me the story of the sled. And she said, oh, um, you know, Grandpa Allen, uh, found it at a dump, <laughs> you know, and she was a little girl. So, and she was like, and it was really old then. So the sled is probably like a hundred years old easily. Um, she's like, but you used to go sledding on it. Like. He had this little seat, like, kind of built onto it, and they used to strap me onto it when I was, like, a baby <laughs> to send me down the hill. So I, she had that in the yard sale, and I was like, I'll take that. And so um, I got that. And then she also had, um, she knows that I love the, the Revere bowls, you know. I think this one is the fancy one. Yep. <laughs> so this one is... You can't really read it, but it says from the New Bedford Women's Club, and so that was given to my great-grandmother, but then I picked up this one yesterday. This one's from Denmark. Okay, I got a knock at the door, so I'll have to come back. 
Okay, I have a few more minutes and then I'm going to an antique show in St. Pete that happens once um, happens once a month and it's called Brocante and it's like this old warehouse and all the different antique um, vendors get together and sell their stuff and even if I don't buy anything I just like to go wander around <laughs> and look at all the old stuff and so I'm gonna go get my aunt and go do that um, but I she's not ready yet so I have a few more minutes um, okay, uh, let's see, okay, so then, okay, Sara Lee goes on to say, I have to purge a few times a year. I have a hard time to use up my scrap stash on cards that I give away. I am trying to get better, but if I can at least use a sample of a cute paper on my layout, that's a good point, um, I'm trying to find the full satisfaction and not alone. I have some satisfaction to learn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I um, I have this big bin that I used to use for my scraps, and it's been full of, like, all of the brochures from my summer trip, and I'm now I'm thinking, like, I really need to go through and get rid of a bunch of that stuff, um, but I think that will become the bin where I throw all of my scraps from what I've been using, and yeah, that's a really good point, you know? <laughs> we get all this cute paper and then we don't we're afraid to cut into it and then we get rid of the cute paper later when it, we don't think it's cute anymore we might as well just like punch a little circle out of it and um and use it because we're not going to be able to use like the 500 pounds of scrapbooking paper that we have it's just not going to happen yeah i know okay next up is and i don't recognize this name i have i don't think i've seen her before it's me Todd, New Todd 2. It's M E U T O D 2. How I love this, I love how this layout came together. I wish the camera was behind you so it wouldn't be upside down. I love your process and how it turned out from Jen. And so sometimes when I upload to YouTube, then I have to flip it over um, because when I film, like, imagine this is my iPad. I film like this, and then when it um, when it uploads to YouTube, I don't know why, but it's always upside down. And I don't think it matters whether like it's this way or this way. Um, anyways, I have the tripod on my desk, so it's like it's here, and then I'm here. So after I put it onto YouTube, I flip it up, you know, right side up. Um, it's really curious to know why it uploads. I don't know. It just does. Um, but then I have to flip it. And sometimes, um, if YouTube is kind of sticky, then, um, I just, for or I forget, then I'll put it up upside down. So if you see that, just say, leave a comment and say, hey, your video is upside down. And then I'll, um, I'll make it right as fast as I can. Okay, next up is Moira. Moira, I hope I'm saying your name right. I used to know a girl named Moira. <laughs> Moira O'Reilly. Um, I am really enjoying the series, Katie. Thanks so much. Cool. That was um, the Jenny Rowling kit. And next is Jocks Girl says, um, I keep all the little pieces too. Yeah, and I especially did that with the kit. Um, they work. They work well, especially when I am finishing my page. Yes, to add the last touch. Next up is Anna Olive. I love your idea of photographing your purchases. I think I'm going to start doing that. It's a lot easier than trying to remember everything I have. Yeah, you know, if you photographed it all, maybe not necessarily like make a video of it, but if you photographed it and then you had like one of your, on your, you know, I use Picasso, but whatever you use to organize your photos on the computer, then you could just look through that. that that's a good idea. I didn't really think of that. <laughs> so thanks, Annalyf. I mean, I thought about videotaping of them, but yeah, that's a good idea to um, to take pictures of them. Okay, next is <coughs> <coughs> first cold of the year. It's almost over. Um, I will not go digital because I love the feel, texture, and process involved with paper and picture supplies. 
I like having the supplies in my possession. I like that I can gather from one more than one collection or use my stash that is 10 years old. With digital scrapbooking, I wonder if the new technology comes along. My older software will no longer work. Um, I have photo editing software that I loved and can no longer use with my upgraded computers. I would hate to not be able to scrap because the computer was down. Um, I also want, don't want to be chained down to my desk. Hope that others will also continue to love paper. Yeah, um, I've had, I wonder. <laughs> so, you know, Big Picture Classes um, was bought or partnered or something with um, Studio Calico recently. And and then they're switching their um, for their whole platform over to some other platform. And so they had to lose a lot of content in the process. And so they had previously said, oh, you know, all of our classes will be, like, around forever. And when you hear forever in, you know, in terms of computers, um, it's like this double-edged sword thing. Because, number one, you say to teenagers, like, be careful of what you put on the internet because it'll be on there forever. Um, but then if you want to save things um, and have them be forever, you, you know, find out they're not forever. And so I've had sites that um, went away and I've lost a lot of content. Um, and I'm not so worried about the big picture thing. Um, I think it was like an unfortunate choice for them to choose to save forever because then it creates that expectation that they could never fulfill, you know? Because <laughs> if you use never, always, or forever, you're probably going to disappoint somebody at some point. Because you just, you know, absolute terms like that probably aren't good to use. Um, but I'm most of the classes that I really wanted um, access to in the future are still up and... Um, it's, I don't think it was any big thing, and I think if they hadn't have said forever, then I don't think anybody would be worried about it. It's just that they had said forever, which, again, <laughs> don't say forever, yeah, which I don't think they're going to in the future. Um, anyways, um, I, I've been thinking lately about all of the, um, you know, all of the content that we're creating and then how is it getting stored and I don't know. <laughs> I don't, because I've, I've had computers crash. I've had, um, I had one crash where I then lost like three years of my photos and, but I wasn't worried about it because I had been printing on a regular basis. Um, and I used to be so much better about like uploading and keeping everything all organized and printing on a regular basis and I'll tell you what I've been really lame about that lately so I need to get back on the regular printing wagon because um, yeah <laughs> more pictures to scrapbook with and um, and it's that's a good backup too you know even though it's paper I mean it's the technology for looking at a picture isn't going to change, you know, unless our eyeballs change, <laughs> which I'm sure at some point they'll put all kinds of computer chips into our eyeballs. Won't that be weird? Um, okay. Next is Debbie Hodge says, loved this as always and got to get me some Randy Washi. And I think I made some kind of joke about washi tape. That was on the Ruby camping one. Um, next is Tracy Zook. Okay, I was going to give you a hard time about finally buying a kit, but it looks like you got yours for free. I did. Um, but I will say, I will say, I was really um, pleasantly surprised with using a kit. I, I really, um, I could see, like if you didn't have like the hordes of supplies that I have or if I ever like, got rid of a whole bunch of stuff it would be really nice to get my daughter just came in here she's like why do you have a pizza box in here I'm like scrapbooking things came in it and she's like what <laughs> but 
They really did. Um, but I could see where I could really enjoy getting a box of supplies, like once a month or once every two months, I think would be probably about right. Um, yeah, I really, my mind is, is changed. <laughs> um, I'm still, I still haven't, um, you know, signed up for anything, but I'm thinking about it. I am actually thinking about it. Um, the next one, it, so Tracy also says, by the way, you said Cherokee and it's chicory and you're right. And you know why I probably said Cherokee? It's because, um, I've been tutoring my son and we were in the a unit in history all about, um, Native Americans and like which region, which, <laughs> which I could, you know, tell you all of the different tribes and which region they come from. Um, and then she said, saw it a lot more in Indiana than I do in Massachusetts. Hmm. Yeah. Weird. Um, well, my dad usually was picking chicory, <laughs> not Cherokees, because that would be really weird. Um, on the side of the road up in Bangor, Maine, is one we saw a lot. But I think they have it in Massachusetts, too. I do. Okay. Um, and I probably, yeah, I should pause. Okay, back again. Okay, um, I'm probably out of steam for, um, the comments, but thank you for the comments, and I do really appreciate them, and I read them all. I know I don't always respond to them all, but these, um, but just, I usually get the comments on my iPhone, but then to respond, I can't really do it from the iPhone, or I just don't know how, um, so it's easiest for me to just make the video to say blah blah blah. <laughs> Here's the response. Um, but uh, but keep them coming. Thank you for the comments. And I will be making some new videos this month. It is so it's November 2000. It's November 2nd, 2014, and um, it's the first day of daylight savings. And I actually like woke up at four o'clock in the morning. I was like wide awake, and you couldn't. I, could, I like laid there for an hour and was still wide awake and finally got up and did my workout and made waffles and cleaned the house and yeah, it's like 10 o'clock and I'm like, let's go. Um, but I'm sure I'll be going to bed early tonight. Um, but I, I do plan to get um, back to more scrapbooking this month and um, I haven't really, usually I let in the beginning of a month, I kind of like to um, set up a challenge for myself or the kit was a really good way to do something. I will, I do think I want to finish up those pages that I showed you from the Jenny Bowling kit. And then, um, I don't know, I'll have to think about what, what's my plan for this month. But, um, yeah. I, um, I'm signed up for a bunch of classes over at Big Picture and also, um, Get It Scrapped, I think, has new content coming out this month as well as curated albums, which looks amazing, and, um, yeah, so I'll probably be working on that stuff. Okay, I think that's it. So you can, um, my blog is Kiss and Tell Scrapbooking. Um, I haven't updated it in a long time, so you're probably better find me here than there, but, um, I'm also on Instagram, although I haven't been Instagramming about scrapbooking lately. Um, yeah, so anyways, thank you for watching, and bye.